Hello everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to continue down our road of animations and we are actually going to be talking about easing types and uh, different types of curves. Um, we've used them in the past but we didn't really get in depth with what they did and so on and so forth. So, um, if we go over to our help page right here and we type in easing up here in our search option, down the row here we can see that there's a file, okay, an easing.qml example file that's underneath quick animations easing slash qml, right? Do we see this? It's right here. And this is a list uh, model that has uh, it set on a repeater and it has every single one of the easing types in it and it's set up for us to use as an example. So we want to open this example file, okay? So once again, we know that it's underneath quick animations easing, easing that, right? So let's go ahead and open, all right? And we're gonna go to our, into our source library, here we are. Now we'll go into 5.0. We'll go to whatever compiler we're using, and we're going to go down to examples, I think it's going to be in, and that's going to be underneath quick, and there is animations right there, okay, and what we can do is we can either select the animation pro, which will open up each one of these or we can open up the animation QML project, or we can just go into easing, and there's our easing.qml. But for right now, we're going to go back and we're going to open up the pro, animation.pro. Okay, this is all going to parse, and we're going to say where we want to build it, and in our case, I'm building it to my correct, using my correct uh, setup. Okay. And let's see what it gives us. So as you can see, we have different types of properties, and here's the file that we're actually really looking for. If we go down over here, okay, to our debug area, okay, and we're going to set it to debug uh, locally, right? So, but what we can do is we can just double click on this, and it opens it right up. Let's just copy all of this by selecting all of it and pressing Control C. Um, now let's create a new file. Or I'm sorry, new application to uh, Qt Quick to UI. Press choose. Uh, name it whatever you want. And finish. Okay, now let's select all this and paste over the code that we just copied. Okay, there we go. Now let's save this and let's uh, let's run it. Okay, so we can see that it has each one of the easing types. Okay, and if we click on the uh, actual left-hand side of it, there's a there's a statement in there that says, you know, put it over to the right and use the animation while doing it. So we can actually see how each one of the animations work when they're going in or out, bouncing, right? And uh, I think that this is really cool. Um, the, of course, each one works. Um, and uh, it's really simple to uh, kind of look at and come back as a reference and say, yeah, I kind of wanted to do that, you know. Um, and you can go through each one of them, you know, and look at them and, and say, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I want it to look. Um, I use this as a reference here and there um, just to, uh, for me. And, uh, of course, we can always, you know, go over to our help page again. And underneath the property animation right here, if we actually go down to easing, it shows us um, the different types, right? There's type, and that's an enumeration, so the types, available types are, and so on and so forth, and amplitude, overshot period, and Baziri curve. I, don't, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, um, and I've never used it myself, so... But yeah, you can go down through each one of these, and it tells you what, what they do. Um, the curve is set for t to the power third, function uh, decelerating from zero velocity and you can go through each one of these and look at the uh, look at the lines and see how they work and then you can go back to year one and uh, use it um, a good example let's look at out elastic we can see it goes way above the the, the threshold value comes back down and, and, and boots in. and if we go back over to 
our uh, our app here, and we go down to where is it? Out Elastic. And we select on it. You can see it really goes over the amplitude and comes back. Right? We'll do it again. Over the amplitude and back. Over the amplitude and back. Um, well, this is Joseph. This was a really quick tutorial on um, easing, and uh, you know, go through the help page, check it out. Um, especially this part right here gives uh, more examples of how you can use amplitude, uh, how you can use overshoot, how you can use period, and of course, there is the zero curve, or however you pronounce it, that I cannot figure out yet, but will eventually. Anyways, I am Joseph, and this is another QML tutorial. Um, take care, and have a good one. Be nice to everybody out there. Bye.